It's been an odd one, right? Or the last couple of days has been an odd one. Because I think it's been a constant reminder for me. Another reminder if ever I needed it. I don't really need this type of reminder. I should be a little bit more grown to realise this stuff anyway. But regardless, this is a reminder to me and a reminder to you guys out there, especially my cisgendered male types over there, right? Or out there in the, in the space, whoever's listening to me. Mind your business. Mind your business until somebody makes it, until somebody makes their business, until somebody asks you to be in their business, right? Yeah. Mind your business until somebody asks you to be in their business, basically. And why do I say that? So the other day, I went out, you know, doing my little life admin, adult admin type of stuff, popped into the shops, and I happened to see this young lady walk by the, the shop door, right? Because the shop door off licenses are usually right next to the pavement and shit. I'm standing there right next to the till, buying something, and usually whenever I'm waiting for the person to give me my change or get the stuff that I need, whether it's a magna or something, I'm just standing on the door, having a look around, you know, doing the whole hood boy ends guy thing, you know, standing on the doorway, you know, doing a little fist with my hand, punching it in my hand, feeling like a bad boy. You know how it is, isn't it? Standard thing. So I'm there standing on the door, and this lady walks by me, right? She walks by me, and the first thing I quickly notice is she walks by me, and she's wearing this dress. And as she walks by me, and I turn to my right-hand side to look at her, she's walking by, I see that her entire, like, left arse cheek, a very wide, a very voluptuous, very round, very jiggly white left bum cheek, not white, well, black lady bum cheek, is, like, just jiggling as she's walking by, and I'm like, oh, shit. But she, I don't think she's realised, because as she's walking by, I see that she's got, like, um... I, I kind of like doing this as well, like where sometimes you put a tote bag, if it's got long straps, you kind of put it across your body. You know, sometimes I, I don't like wearing my tote bag like a Caucasian person, right? You know, there's like Caucasian hipsters with like the handlebar moustache and they roll their own cigarettes and they're like rolling up their trousers and they wear white socks, right? Those type of Caucasians like to carry a tote bag, like a handbag, like, and you put their hand on it, like, mm-hmm. My tote bag. When I'm wearing the tote bag, I wear it like a dude, right? So I either, I cross body it, right? Or I just fucking tie it on the belt loop or something. So it's like a weird satchel thing. It's a weird like bag thing hanging on my flipping belt loop, right? Or I just, or, or I wrap the straps around my hand and I carry it like it's a flipping gun. Do you know what I mean? It's weirdness. But anyway, sometimes if the straps are really long, I'll, I'll kind of cross body it like a messenger bag. This woman did the same thing, but because she was wearing a dress and she was carrying a backpack, she had the double, right? When you go into, it's like the airport swag. You've got like your backpack, that's your carry-on, and you've got your bag that's got all your like toiletries in it, maybe a little sandwich, you know, blah, blah, blah. So she's walking, and I guess as she was walking, her dress was kept getting riz, kept getting, was rising up because her, her dress was kind of going in between her backpack and like the tote bag. But I don't think she even noticed because it was just one cheek that was out. So I saw it and I instantly, and again, usually I'm very good. Usually I'm very good at just like minding my business and just being like, you know what, whatever, in it. But for some reason, something came over to me to, to say, hey, 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 like to the lady, madam or something like that. I think I understand that. Hey, madam, to kind of get, get her attention so that she knew because she wasn't that far away from me. Just so I can give her like a, a little like, you know, hey, black person to black person, by the way, you know, your whole ass is out, by the way. But when I said it, I really regretted it because I was like, hold on, this is going to sound like I'm trying to holler. But I'm not trying to holler, right? I'm just trying to say, like, literally, I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even going in the direction. I just stood where I was standing. And I said, hey, hey, by the way, madam, or something like that. And she turned around with, like, a look of disgust. And then as she turned around with a look of disgust, she kept, she started lowering her dress straight away. And, like, as if like, to cover herself up. Like, oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. Somebody saw me late naked or something. Or, like, you know, or, like, you, inc- you, you like, like um, by mistake, I walked into like a woman's dressing room or something. She had that kind of like frightening look at her. And she was kind of pulling down her dress. And I was like, and it immediately made me feel terrible. I immediately felt like a creepo. And I was like, hold on. I'm doing you a favor, kind of, by alerting you to the fact that your dress is rising up and your literal whole left arse cheek is out, Right. I'm kind of alerting you to the fact that your whole arse cheek is out and you're probably walking from Stratford to the station. Why are you making me now feel like the creep? And I was like, oh, you know what's happened? Like, maybe she knew. Maybe she was aware that her dress was up, but she was pacing like she was going to a, you know, like she had that kind of run. She had that kind of walk and gait to her like she was in a rush to go to a train or something, right? Because where I live, the train station's not too far. So, you know, usually it's like a, you know, you can tell people are like in a rush. And I was like, oh, maybe she was aware of it. And she didn't care because it was a particular time of day where there wasn't many people about anyway. And she probably would have been able to get from her where she was, where we were, to, to her destination without many people seeing her dress up. So maybe I'm the one that made it bait. 
you know? Like, maybe it wasn't actually bait, but because I said it, it made it worse. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I was like, in that moment, I was like, oh, now I feel like a fucking idiot because now, not only does it look like I was trying to holler and she ignored me, now it looks like I was, like, trying to holler because her dress was up or something. And I made her feel, like, uncomfortable. I, I, I was, like, I was doing, like, a Chris D'Elia, Brian Callen, you know, Chris Russell Brand type of thing. Oh, you know, what's going on? Where's my hug? Like, nah. Which is why I ne- I'd never fucking do that anyway. But it's, like, I quickly realised in that moment, shit, that's why you should mind your business. That's why they say stay out of women's business because there's no doubt in my head that she did not know that it was dresses up. I'm sure she did. 99% of my May, 99% of me now is thinking she must have known it was up, but she didn't care in that instance because she was in a rush to go to some go somewhere. And she knew at that time of day, not many people would be around or most people wouldn't probably say nothing to her because she's a black woman. Or, I don't know, whatever, right? Um, but me, the idiot, me trying to get myself involved, me, the fucking, I don't know what you call it, me trying to be a fucking good Samaritan, right? Or am I trying to be the bum cheek Samaritan or something? I wanted to alert her like, excuse me, miss, do you know that one of your, it's like, yes, I know you fucking donut. Stop looking and go away. Like, oh, I felt so dumb. And in that moment, I thought to myself, you know what? This is why as a guy, you have to mind your business. You really have to mind your business. And even the most genuine, lacking in creepiness gesture can land you in trouble. And not in trouble because of what she, how she reacted, which was ba- which was obviously to me bad, because she like gave me that kind of that yuck kind of face, like I'm a creep, and she pulled down her dress like I walked into her fucking bedroom while she was changing. The worst thing about it is the feeling you get after your own internal feeling, where you start to feel like a monster. You're like, what did I do? Like, why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> now I feel embarrassed. Now I feel like an idiot. That feeling in your gut, that same feeling that you get when you, you know when you get into an argument with somebody in the street, you get into an argument with somebody and then you don't say anything you want to say. Then on the way home, you're like thinking, I should have said this. I should have said that. Um, then he would have said this. Then I would have punched him in the face. Then he would have punched me back. Then I would have fucking, you know, pushed him into the train tracks and watched his whole body split into when the fucking Lizzie line went over him. Right, you've got all these things in your head that you want to do, but then when it happens, it doesn't go ha- the way you want it to go to. And then you start to regret it on the way home. And I had the same feeling in that instant. I was like, you know what? I regret so much opening my big black mouth and saying anything to this lady because she 100% knew why one. But in my infinite wisdom, I thought I was being the, no, she doesn't know. She mustn't. I have to tell her. Like, I was like some weird bum, you know, bum cheek white knight. Like, she doesn't need, she doesn't need my help. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sure most women are aware when, a, when their boob is out, when they're showing too much shoulder, when they're showing too much, like, they, they just know, in, you know, intimately where their body is and what they're, what they're showing and shit. And I don't need to bring attention to it. So I probably was in the wrong in that regard. But for me, the lesson was mind your fucking business. And it's sad because in some situations, you should step up and speak up. But I think those are just situations you know. I think this particular one, you know, there was no need for me to say anything, really. I was kind of just trying to get myself involved. I was probably, what's that word called? It was probably self-serving, my gesture. I wanted to appear to be the good guy. Maybe deep down, that was what, what was going on. Maybe I wanted to be the hero. I was like, yeah, let me save this damsel in distress who has her skirt up and say, hey, by the way, your skirt is up. You should put it down before anyone sees it. And she'd be like, oh my God, thank you. You're such a hero. More men should be like you. Huh? Like, do you know what I mean? That's, maybe that was instinctively what I was trying to do. And maybe my karma was getting told, was getting that weird, like, creeper look. And then she kind of pulled her dress down and ran away. Right? That kind of yuck, that kind of ick that I gave her, that kind of fright, maybe it was my karma because I tried to be a hero. I tried to be a hero, as Brendan would say, and it came back and slapped me in the face. So no, no, no problem, right? All, all good. Sometimes you take your L's. But now I understand, having watched this video, I now understand why some women are so cautious, are so cautious around some dudes, and in general, why some women should probably never give guys, even guys who you think might be cool, benefit of the doubt. We are all strangers and we're all monsters to them. In actuality, we're all strangers, we're all monsters. Do you want to know why? Look at this fucking video. And in case you're just what, in case you're listening to this, it's a video of a guy in what looks like to be a target. He's got his phone out, and there's a woman in front of him bending down, looking at I don't know. 
I think she's looking at gift bags or something, gift bags or cards or something. He goes behind her and he starts to record her up her skirt. He starts to place his, her, his phone under her skirt and starts recording her. So maybe that woman who walked by me with her bum out and gave me a dirty look, <laughs> maybe the fact that she did that was because most dudes out there are like this. So she couldn't give me the benefit of that because she doesn't know me. She probably would think I'm one of these guys. So I understand now why I got that dirty look, why she literally ran away, even though I was trying to help her. Because most guys are out here doing this. Excuse me, what are you doing? No, I just saw you put that underneath her dress. Absolutely you did. <laughs> you absolutely did. Then show me your phone. Yes. No, we're going to call security. No, I really you absolutely did. And you were following me over in the children's section. My sister is pregnant. Ma'am, I really wasn't. You've been extremely close to me this whole time. I, Please show me your phone. No. I really don't Let's get to. security. Because this is absolutely wrong. I really don't mean to. No, you obviously did. I re no, ma'am. Please, I really don't nope, mean to. No, let's get security. He's down so bad. How damn bad do you have to be doing that? I have it on video. You are not going to get away with anything. Ma'am, I'm really. I'm you not. can say ma'am all you want, but we will let them ma decide. Ma'am, ma'am. I really promise I wasn't no. trying to do anything inappropriate. Uh uh. I wasn't. I really wasn't. I'm not like that. Uh, obviously, you are. I literally have it on video. Ma'am, I'm not. Obviously, I, I really am not. Like, I know it might have seemed that way in like the video. No, like, no. Just, it's, just... Hey, listen to me. Yes, ma'am. We're going to wait for them to get here. That's how you know he's really guilty, by the way. He's not even running. That's how you know he's really guilty. He's so gripped in fear. He's so surprised that he got caught red-handed that he's just standing still. He can't even walk away. Because you, your first instinct, you think your head's like, why is this guy running? It's like, yeah, because he's actually legitimately guilty. And he probably never thought he'd ever get caught. And he's like a deer in fucking headlights. He's just frozen. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. It's like, bro, that's not going to work. Calling this, ma'am is like calling her, it's like when black people call black, other black women auntie. That's not going to get you any favours. She's not your ma'am. You know what I mean? She definitely isn't your ma'am. In this case, she's, fuck it. She must well be the police. She must well be a judge. She must well be a prosecutor. You are done. Okay. Like, I was just trying to look Nope. Books. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. No. Like, you can stop. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. You were so suspicious following me all around the store. I knew you were up to no good. You should have called him a sicko, not suspicious. No, call him a I have sicko. video of him sticking his phone underneath this lady's dress as she had bent over, videotaping her. And he followed me all around the store. Okay. So... We need to like get to... police. Okay. If... So, that to me might be the exact reason why that lady that walked past me, didn't give me the benefit of the doubt and treated me like I was a fucking predator. Maybe because most of her interactions with men ends up like that. And to make matters even worse, look at this. Look at the actual guy at the end. Target peeping suspect fired from open door church. The guy works in a fucking church. He was a volunteer at Greenville Elementary School. He was part of a church and he worked in the school. A guy that's out here going to Target, recording women, taking pictures and videos of the up, up their skirts and shit, being an ultimate creep, is maybe, potentially, allegedly also a PDF. Is that even suspicious to you? There must be a real through line between people who do shit like that to women, like upskirt stuff, and also PDF stuff. It's probably not far-fetched to be into both things. Can you imagine this guy's working in the school? Can you imagine the parents seeing this guy's face all over the news, thinking, oh my God, I knew it. I had a feeling about him. Do you know what I mean? Like, I bet you so many parents are going to be like, fuck me. So this is the article courtesy of WITN. Police say they are checking the cell phone of a man arrested on Monday for secret peeping charges to see if there's any sexual activities involving children on it. WTIN has learned that Thomas Elliott was a volunteer at Greenville Elementary School. Look at his face, caught red-handed. Look at that screen. Look at that screen grab. He's literally bent over. He's literally squatting. With his phone down, camera up, right next to... To be fair, anyway, to be fair, as a woman, you should not let anybody get that close to you in a supermarket. The fact that he's that close to her in a supermarket is bizarre. 
I'm sure some of you guys have been in supermarkets where you're like crouching, looking for some seasoning or something in the bottom row. And usually people will like, you know, make an effort to kind of go around you. But I've never been in a situation where I'm squatting and somebody else squats next to me. And we're like, we're squatting, holding hands, looking at things. That's odd. Or if they do, you kind of move out of the way because, you know, when you're in a supermarket, you kind of want to do your own thing. You're not there to socialise. Maybe, I don't know, there's some guys that want to hook up, whatever. But usually you're kind of there to get your thing and go. If somebody is standing that close to you, they're up to no good, in my opinion. Nobody should be that close to you in any way, shape or form in this fucking supermarket. This isn't a train. This isn't a packed coach. This isn't you going on your way to the fucking airplane. This is you in the supermarket where it's literally designed in a way that two big carts, trolleys, two human beings, families can go down one aisle. That's how they're designed. They're designed in a way where you can go, two people can go up and down these rows and these lanes, usually, you'd imagine. So the fact that somebody's this close to you means that they're up to no good, in my personal opinion. Open Door Church in Winterville also provided a statement to WTIN saying Thomas Elliott was immediately terminated, terminated, <laughs> immediately terminated upon notification of his arrest on Monday. The church did not provide details on what was going. On. Of course, he was part of a fucking church, isn't it? Of course, of course, he was in. He, of course, he was protected for a long time and used the church as cover. Of course. He probably learned it from some people over there too, allegedly. Who knows? Greenville police say the 21-year-old, oh, that's what makes it sadder. The kid's only 21 and he's already doing this fucking crazy shit. He's basically done, right? There is a theory out there and I tend to agree with it. When it comes to PDF and like, you know, sexual deviance, you're probably better off just like taking them out than trying to rehabilitate them. There's, there's no way you're going to rehabilitate somebody who's into kids or who does stuff like this? It's never gonna happen. They look when they want. How are they gonna have their come to Jesus moment when this is the stuff that intrinsically, you know, to their core gets them hard? This is what they find sexual gratification from, or some type of gratification. how. How can you cure this? It's it's impossible. So it's either you put them in prison forever, or you put them out of their misery. I vote for the latter. But hey, what do I know? 21-year-old Elliot was arrested at Target in Greenville Boulevard Monday. Video obtained by WITN shows a man arrested by police placing his phone under the woman's skirt. Another shopper um, there started taking a video of him with her cell phone after she said she noticed... <laughs> Look at him being taken out of the... Honestly, is there anything worse about being arrested? I think being arrested in a supermarket is probably the worst place to get arrested because they're all so brightly lit, right? They're lit so brightly because they want you to buy stuff, right? The lights are placed in particular areas on the fucking aisles where they shine on certain things, bright colours everywhere. It's meant to, you know, even the floors are white to really help bounce the light. It's, a, it's basically lit up like a Christmas tree. So everyone will see you. Secondly, the worst thing about being arrested, imagine being arrested when you go to a supermarket dressed like... That's why I sometimes try and make an effort when I go to supermarkets, just in case. You never know what might happen. Because the worst thing you want is to get booked from a supermarket and you're wearing your PJs or you've got short shorts on. Can you imagine anything worse than getting arrested in, like, your running gear and you have to fucking sit in a cell like that in, like, your little Lycras and shit or your little fucking Star Wars jammies? That's the worst thing in the world. Fuck it, yeah, no. Um... Another shopper there started taking a video of him on cell phone after she noticed him following her around. The woman taking a video of posted the exchange between her and Elliot. By the way, you have to be so horny too and very filled with like bad thoughts to be taking that picture of that video and not notice this woman clearly taking a video of you. This older lady, by the sounds of it, she had like a very older lady kind of sounding voice, was literally standing in front of him taking his picture. But he was so consumed with fucking goon right he went into coom so badly that he didn't see her pretty wild um we are disturbed and deeply concerned by the video footage of the individual that has been shared on social media and news outlets based on the footage the individual will not be returning to our campuses as a volunteer or as a hired employee this is tom mcclellan school spokes system spokeswoman by the way let's check tom's computer too by the way let's just check let's just just double check let's just see what the group chat is saying let's just double check McLean, McLean, McClellan said before volunteers and visitors are given campus access, they are screened through Raptor, a program that determines if it listens to any sex offender database. Police said so far they haven't found any any inappropriate photos of children on their main self, on a man's cell phone, a search warrant. You know what? You're probably better off if you're actually going to hire people from the school, especially young people. 
you're probably better off just going through their social media. You're probably not going to get anything on a sexual database because, you know, young people, I'm assuming, are going to be far more attuned to not getting caught or they would run more so than older people, you'd imagine. So if you are going to do a background check, you're probably better off as a school, just getting somebody that's a bit more tech savvy, uh, somebody in the school, maybe a kid even, to just go through and scrape somebody's social media and just see all the likes. And most likely you'll be able to see quick, pretty quickly if this person's into some odd shit. It doesn't take much, you know? Most people have their fucking likes open. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty easy to double check things. like, And then you'll be able to see what I want. A search warrant for the man's phone um, said Elliot denied any wrongdoing and showed us the recent photos he had on his cell phone. The warrant seeks, among other things, video file, digital for text messages and related information. Elliot posted a $5,000 bond and his first court day appearance on Tuesday. But yeah, this might explain why I got um, a very rude, you know, interaction from somebody i was trying to help the other day but yeah guys out there mind your business for the creeps out there hope you get run over by a very 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 heavy train